Section 8.5, Properties of Trapezoids and Kites. Part 1, we're going to be looking at trapezoid. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides. So a parallelogram has two pairs of parallel sides. A trapezoid only has one. These parallel sides are called the base, or the bases. So let's draw this picture. What happens is we're going to have a trapezoid with one pair of parallel sides. The parallel sides are the bases. The non-parallel sides are called the legs. So we have base and base, a leg and a leg. Make sure you have these lengths labeled because we'll be using this terminology a lot. We also have four angles and we pair them up based on their bases. So in this picture are sets of what we call base angles. So we have base angles. The pairs of base angles are angle A and angle B are one pair. And then angle D and angle C are the other pair of base angles. So we have our top two angles are one pair and our bottom two angles are the other pair of base angles. Okay. There's a special kind of a, a trapezoid. It's an isosceles trapezoid. And that is a trapezoid with congruent legs. So if we have our trapezoid with our opposite sides, one pair of opposite sides parallel. And if the legs are congruent, then A, B, C, D is an isosceles trapezoid. Which brings us to theorem 8.14. If a trapezoid is isosceles, then each pair of base angles is congruent. So if we have our trapezoid and it is an isosceles trapezoid, then A is congruent to B and D is congruent to C. This must be the case. Note that A and D are not congruent. They're actually supplementary. And that's because we have two parallel lines cut by a transversal. OK. Theorem 8.5 is very related to that theorem 8.14. If a trapezoid has a pair of congruent base angles, then it is an isosceles trapezoid. So let's say instead we have a trapezoid, and we know that one pair of base angles is congruent. Then it is isosceles. And it doesn't matter which pair of base angles are congruent, the bottom or the top. In either case, as long as one pair is congruent, then we have an isosceles trapezoid. And lastly, a trapezoid is isosceles if and only if its diagonals are congruent. So if we have an isosceles trapezoid, then it must be the case that its two diagonals, AC and DB, are congruent. And if the diagonals are congruent, then we know it's isosceles. So now we'll look at some examples.